after we left Stoke, drove down the motorways and then through some terrible London traffic to drop Yvonne and Mandy off at their overnight digs in Hounslow. I'll never do that again. We then continued on to our friends Olive and Len in Biggin Hill where we stayed until we caught our flight back to Reno on Thursday the 23rd. This is where the girls stayed, the bridge house. They didn't hang around Hounslow very long. No sooner they got their stuff in their room, they took off and went downtown to London. And then they bought their tickets for the world's longest running play, The Mouse Trap. As you can see from the sign, the mousetrap has been running for 57 years. After the show, they had a quick look around the lights of London and then headed back to their digs in Hounslow. They were up early on Sunday morning to catch a bus to Hounslow Station, then the train to Heathrow Airport where they caught their flights back to Reno. We had a relaxing day with Olive and Len on the Sunday, and then on the Monday the four of us went up to London. There was a sit-in demonstration in Whitehall protesting the genocide of the Tamil Tigers of Sri Lanka. In the afternoon we took the river boat from Whitehall down to Kew Gardens. On Tuesday we drove down to Hunston in Sussex to visit with Ron and Jean. We spent most of the day just catching up on news and seeing how they were getting on. They've both been working very hard on the new trailer and Jean's very proud of her greenhouse as she should be. Of course, we had to visit with all the animals. We had a nice lunch at the Crab and Lobster in Pagham Harbour. It was a bit expensive though. On Wednesday we had an interesting day visiting Down House near Olive and Lens. This is where Charles Darwin and his family lived for 40 years. You could easily spend a whole day walking around the house and grounds. There's a wealth of information about Charles Darwin's research there. No, that's not Charles Darwin. That's my mate, Len. After Down House, we went into the village of Down and the four of us had a nice meal at the Queen's Head. Early on Thursday morning, Len drove us to Bromley Railway Station where we caught the train to Victoria and then the underground to Heathrow Airport. We flew home on United Airlines connecting through San Francisco.